God damn it, T. Martin. What kind of trouble did you get yourself into? Because right now, you can possibly go to jail, man. With all this shit that you pulled, that's kind of shady. So anyways, what is up, my crazy subscribers? This is Joking John City 4, and today, we'll be talking about some other YouTuber for the second time in a row this week. And um, I did not plan to do this, to be honest. I did not know that T. Martin was pretty much getting himself into trouble until yesterday. And I was watching all the videos, you know, evidence that this guy was a bad guy. And yes... God damn it, T-Man, what the fuck did you do? You literally just, you just sank. <laughs> so I don't know how you're going to get out of this one, to be honest. So T-Martin, what he did is that uh, he never told anybody that he earned a, uh, he owns a gambling site. And this gambling site is about CSGO scans. You pretty much, you put your skin there and you gamble it for money. And uh, this is your actual skills in your inventory. You just put it in there and let's see if the game picks you to win. Pretty much simple gambling, right? And the thing is, the biggest problem, besides the gambling sites, the biggest problem is that T. Martin uploaded videos from that site, claiming that it was shown by a friend of his. A friend of his told him, like, hey, go to this site so you can gamble. And he uploaded, like, around eight videos talking about, like, how, how cool the site is, you know, join me, uh, you know, do some gambling in this site because it's super cool. Like, he literally told all his fans, right, like, eight months ago. And in that whole video, he never claimed that he was the owner of the site. You see, this is the biggest problem. He was the owner of the site. So he has control of how many times you can win. He has background control. You can have your, your, like your chances increased on your side with no problem. So he literally is faking his reactions in the videos. He's literally changing the chances he can win at all times in the videos. Or even before the video is posted. So... All that shit that you saw from him is fake. Who would have thought, right? Like, I already know his fucking reactions were fake, man. A long time ago since Modern Warfare 3, to be honest. His reactions were super fucking fake all the time. He literally acts like he's having an orgasm in the fucking camera. I never liked the guy, to be honest. And right now, there's a lot of evidence against him that he's doing some shady shit because he's the biggest guy out there in YouTube. I cannot believe he even has fans. Like, I really can't. I can't even believe he has fanboys. You can see him like in every single comment section talking about T Martin, defending T Martin, like, oh, that's not a problem. That's not that's not a big deal. Yeah, but don't come back complaining after you wasted three hundred dollars in that gambling site and then you end up broke. So um because of false pretenses. Like, come on man, T Martin did not say anything in that video. See, the biggest problem is that he never admitted that he was the owner of the site and he has controls of how many times he can win in that in that game. And he showed it to the crowd and he wanted the people to like sign up for this site and gamble. Which is a big problem because, you know, there is a rule. There's a law, I think. I think it's a law. I'm not sure. It's a global law or whatever that you have to like every time you upload a video, if it's sponsored, you got to say that you're sponsored like me. If I upload a game like Mirror's Edge, I got to say that I'm sponsored by that company to upload this video and promote it. Well, I don't have to say it, right? Because I'm not getting paid by them. But if you're getting paid by a certain company to promote their stuff, you got to say it in the video. And he never did. And he was the owner. He's supposed to say that he's the owner or something, that he's affiliated with that website. And he never did. And that's the problem because now he's faking reactions. He's faking all these videos. And he's trying to get people into his site because he wants to get all their money. You see, he can fix the chances. He can make it to 1% of you winning. Or he can make it into an even higher percent. I don't know. He can control everything. I don't know how that works. I don't know how coding works. But all I know that he can increase his own chances in winning. And he can easily steal his money. Like imagine. He can go in right now. Into a lobby. Into one of those gambling sites. And change the chances he can win. Against you. You're going you're gonna to be able to win. Like maybe like 1% chance. And he has like a freaking 90% chance to winning. So he can easily take away your money. He's in control man. So uh, watch out, man. Watch out with all these big YouTubers being sellouts and sketchy. Like, watch out, man. Do not believe the shit to say. Me, well, I'm not shady at all. I mean, I'm not even a big YouTuber, so I'm not sponsored by anything. I'm not even want to be sponsored by energy drinks. I've seen YouTubers out there, small YouTubers, trying to get it, you know, sponsored by energy drinks and control freak and all that shit. I'm like, I'm good, man. <laughs> I'll play all default and show you that I can win easily without even using any single kind of equipment. I'm literally using my default controller and I can still whoop ass in Call of Duty. So anyways, T. Martin, man, you're shady as fuck, man. You gotta get the hell out of here or something. Or, or just, you know, apologize to your crowd because this is just insane. 
You just can't get away with this kind of stuff, man. So anyways, guys, my resources are from the know. Watch their channel. Their channel is about gaming news. And, um, you know, subscribe to them because they give you, like, literally everything about gaming news. So uh, that is it, guys. I wanted to talk about, you know, T. Martin's a shady fuck. And uh, watch out with these kinds of YouTubers. They are not real sometimes with you. So that is it. Subscribe for more. You guys want to hear more topics like this. It's time to stop.